It is generally believed that more than half of the world's population is multilingual, which definitely is great, but it's important to understand that the language by itself is not a solid and untouchable thing. The language is flexible and always ready to absorb some new words or expressions from other language if it's needed. There are many different examples of group of bilingual people due to absence of specific words or terms in one language, mixing two languages up, which leads to appearance of such thing like mixed languages. In this video I would like to talk about the mixed language that is spoken in the place where I grew up and live until now. The mix of Romanian and Russian language, which is also known as Moldavian language. And first of all we need quick and brief reference to the Her Majesty, the history. Well, long, long time ago... No, 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 not so long ago. This land been inhabited by Romanian and Ukrainian people. Before World War I, it used to take part of both Austro-Hungarian and Russian empires. After their collapse, Romania took this land for roughly 20 years, but then, in 1940, Stalin came and said I don't care, this is our land, get out of here. So in this way Romanian people got cut off from the Romanian state and didn't get any information from Romanian sources in Romanian language. Instead, they started to get information in Russian language. Therefore, to use more Russian words to replace unknown words related to new technology, politics, medicine... Of course, to use Russian swear words, some adjectives and particles. So what do we have our days? Well, it got much farther. As we started not just to use Russism in our daily life, but to change Russian words by adding Romanian morphemes. Let me explain. Ok, here we got some of the Russian verbs like включить, кататься, and let's add here a swear word, because it's much more fun. For example, the verb заебать. Russian speakers use that obscene expression when they get tired of something or someone's action. Let's conjugate it to see how it actually works. So, we pull out the suffixes, add conjugation to the root of the word, and before the word we add personal pronoun in the accusative case. And we got Yo te zaibiesk, tu ma zaibiesk, yel ma zaibiesk. In the past tense we got Yo tam zaibit, tu ma zaibit, yel ma zaibit. Yo mam zaibit dimensionally vastri. Sometimes there are also cases when we got the original Romanian word like Magandesk, which means I think and then add the prefix from the Russian word like передумать, which means to change your opinion on something. Put it together and we got перегендиск. Or in the past tense, мам перегендит. It sounds so disgusting. We use a lot of Russian adverbs, adjectives and nouns. Mostly those are relatively modern words, which we couldn't get because we didn't know the Romanian analog. The word like спокойный, calm. As for me, I feel kind of controversial about this mixed language. On the one hand, it kind of emphasizes our identity, that who we are as a people. There is even some cool rap in this language. But, on the other hand, it's fucking limited and awkward due to it being spoken mostly in rural areas where people don't speak too much about things like science, philosophy and other more advanced things. They just don't need the vocabulary that is missing to express their thoughts well. When I get to speak about more advanced things in this mixed language, I'm always struggling trying to shape somehow what I'm about to say. But usually after some struggles, I switch the language into Ukrainian or Russian in order to get understood correctly. And as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.